Hey guys, I have a card to share with you all today. I know a lot of people have been making cards with this stamp set or the, the new Greeting Farm stamp sets, but I have had this idea in my head since I saw this particular stamp set that came out from Mama Elephant. It's called Unicorns and Rainbows. <laughs> so I used a sentiment from this stamp set, the cake and these two little diamond shape looking um, I don't know, accent pieces, uh, or stars, I guess you could call them. And I used this unicorn, and I actually um, stamped a couple, and then um, just cut them on my scan and cut, because I didn't, of course, I didn't buy the dies um, for this set. I don't know if you can see them. There's a couple back here um, I can use for masks, or layering, or whatever. So those are the two that I used. And then here's the Copic markers that I used to color my um, tag that I made. So this is the set of colors for um, the unicorn. I hope you guys can see that. There we go. I think that's clear. That's for the unicorn. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that I used a rainbow die. And um, here's for the rainbow. Because uh, you know, rainbow's got to be different colors, right? And then this is for the cake. Okay, so those are the Copic colors that I used and the stamps. I don't have the die out that I can see. And here's my tag. You guys are gonna love this, I hope. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so here's my tag and it actually says, be happier than a unicorn eating cake on a rainbow. And here is my a uh, cake eating unicorn standing on a rainbow. <laughs> I think it's adorable. I don't know why I had this in my head. I just thought it would be cute and very um, uplifting. Uh, I actually made this for myself um, just, you know, as a reminder that, you know, sometimes things can be serious, but you don't always have to take everything so seriously. Um, so when you're having a bad day, this is something you can look at and smile and say, I did that and that's my hobby and I had a lot of fun making it and I'm probably going to bring this to the office and hang it in my new office space. I am actually moving office spaces and it's not exactly my idea of, um, I don't know. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. So I thought I would hang this in my new office space just as a reminder to myself. Um, you know, some people, they have their pictures of their kids. I don't have pictures of kids because I don't have kids, um, but this is just a reminder for me to, you know, smile sometimes. And um, you can see here, um, this uh, rainbow die, I think this is from MFT um, because what it is is the rainbow doesn't cut apart at the bottom here where it actually ends. It keeps it all together, but all of these ridges of color are, diff are separate, like they actually pull up. So you can color one of the arcs in the rainbow, put a piece of paper in between and just, you know, sloppy color and then go to the next one and so on. So all of these are actually separate, separated in between the rings here, but at the bottom they're still joined together so it still makes the one rainbow and you don't have to put it all back together. So I like that. Um, these little clouds that I used are stitched and I think these are from Little Inker Designs. Um, I've had them in my collection for a while now. There's the unicorn. I did use some Wink of Stella on the cake and the unicorn horn. And some of the um, pieces are popped up on foam tape. This um, tag was made with a Spellbinders Labels 1. I don't know. Big um, Nestabilities die. I have to turn it sideways for you to see that. Um, on some blue cardstock that I cut again in the white the white Michaels 110 pound cardstock so that I could have a very sturdy base and they're just glued together with some of the Xyron. I ran it through my Xyron sticker maker um, to you know make a sticky side and then I just stuck the two pieces of blue cardstock and white cardstock together. This is um, stamped directly onto the paper. This I am heat embossed so it's a little bit shiny, 
if you could see the shine, and it's um, black detail embossing powder. Uh, I think it's Ranger, I'm not sure. And then I put an eyelet through the top and just put this little um, sparkly organza ribbon through it. I didn't want to make it too, you know, too much. But I just thought it would be a cute idea to bring some cheer. Um, I was going to make a card and then I thought, no, I'm not going to make a card. I'm going to make a tag. And this tag is going to go with me to work. So that's all. The back has just a white cardstock, just plain. But I thought I'd share that with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. I haven't Copic colored in a very long time. Um, so, and it's nice to be able to use some uh, uh, non-conventional colors in, you know, because when you're usually coloring the girl stamps or whatever, a person, you're using the, the skin tone colors, you're using like regular hair colors, usually. Um, but with the, the unicorn, you can kind of make it a little bit more you know, fun and colorful. So anyway, that is my tag share. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.